Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, those links you can find in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY, oh my goodness, using these Valentine's Day red trucks. And because they have these, I couldn't pass it up. You know that when you see this, I'm gonna do a DIY using it. I'm gonna do more than one DIY using these red trucks because they're just so stinking cute. I can hardly stand it. At Christmas time, I did do a red truck DIY that was a tissue holder that I absolutely love. It is so Christmassy, it is so rustic in farmhouse, but it's not a piece that that I can keep up year round because of the Christmas vibe that it has, although I wish I could. When I saw these red trucks at the Dollar Tree, I was so stinking excited. And so today I'm gonna show you a quicker, easier version of my red truck Christmas tissue holder, but it's gonna be using this red truck Valentine's Day plaque that you can get at the Dollar Tree now. You should definitely keep your eye open for them. This is a piece that you are definitely gonna wanna stock up on for upcoming future DIYs that are non-Valentine's Day related because I've got so many ideas for these, I can hardly wait to bring them to you. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you the quicker, easier version of my Christmas red truck tissue holder using this Valentine's Day plaque. Since this DIY is based around the tissue holder itself, you want to get one that's going to fit nicely with the plaque and this is one that I found at the Dollar Tree and this size fits perfectly. I'm going to start off by removing the tissue and I'm going to do that by carefully opening up one side, one end of the box. You don't want to rip these ends open because we want to be able to close this box later and this will be the side that we actually are able to refill our tissue from. I'm going to start off by covering the tissue box with this black fabric that I had on hand in my stash already. Just decided to use this black one because I didn't much feel like going out and spending more money on fabric and so to save on cost I just wanted to use what I had. Since I had black it's going to match perfectly. To adhere the fabric onto the box I'm using a Mod Podge. This is a matte Mod Podge, gloss Mod Podge will work fine, it really is just your preference and it really is pretty easy to cover a tissue box with fabric if you just kind of take the approach of covering it like you would wrap a present, only on the one end that you opened the box itself to remove the tissue, don't close it up, just cover the flaps themselves with the fabric so you can reopen and close this box to refill it as needed. Now don't be afraid to pop this in the oven to help speed up the drying process. I put mine in my oven on the lowest temperature that my oven will go which is 135 degrees and it took about 45 minutes for this to dry and really get nice and hard. And what's great about using Mod Podge is that it actually seals the fabric and so if you need to wipe this down at all because of dust you can easily do that without ruining the box. On the Christmas red truck, I was refilling the tissue from the top of the box, the opening that you actually dispense the tissue out of. And as you can do it that way, it you know, you had to kind of do it in sections and fold the tissue. And so this time I kind of felt like, you know what, if I open it from the side and I'm just real careful about opening it, I think that that's the better way of doing it. Only I realized that the flaps don't want to stay closed. So to remedy that, I decided to use some of these Velcro dots that you can get from the Dollar Tree and just put them on the tab itself. And that way when I close it, it stays closed and I can easily open and close the side flap to refill my tissue as needed. 
If you can believe it, that was the hardest part of this DIY and we're gonna be done with this in about five minutes. Now I'm gonna take the red truck and on the back side of one of the trucks, I'm gonna place my tissue box in between the tires here, making it even with that bottom edge of the plaque. And I'm just gonna mark the two edges of the box so I know where they end. Then using some of Dollar Tree's wood blocks, these are the mini Jenga blocks, I'm gonna place some hot glue on the side and just hot glue it to the area that I marked, not going past that area because this is where the tissue is going to set. I'm showing here that there are two trucks that are marked on the back side and that is incorrect. I shouldn't have done that, so ignore that second truck. I'm gonna place some hot glue here on the Jenga blocks themselves and I'm gonna place my tissue box right on top of them. So this is what's gonna hold the tissue box in between the two trucks. Then I'm gonna take two more Jenga blocks and I'm gonna hot glue them to the front side of the second plaque because I didn't really wanna make it two-sided on the front and back. I wanted it to be two-sided in the sense of when you have this piece set out, you're not seeing the bad side of one of the trucks, if that makes any sense. And so by putting the blocks on the front side here and then placing it with the tissue holder here, when you are actually looking at this, you're gonna see the decorative side of both plaques. And that's what I was going for with this DIY. Now taking these wood ornaments that the Dollar Tree is carrying again for Valentine's Day, love these. I'm gonna hot glue one to the front of the truck and to the back to where with the Christmas truck, I had the wreaths. I thought that these hearts were perfect. Dollar Tree has several different styles of this heart. I liked the loved ones, so that's what I'm gonna go with for this. When putting it on the back side here, you wanna make sure and only put the hot glue and glue it to that flap itself not to the whole thing because you still wanna be able to open and close this. So just put some hot glue on the top part of that heart and adhere it to that top flap. I made a couple of small bows using the twine that came with the wood ornaments and I thought that this was the perfect way to hide the hole in the ornament on the front and the back. And not only that, but it wouldn't be one of my creations without twine or burlap somehow incorporated. I love the outcome of this. This was such a quick, easy, and most of all, really budget-friendly DIY. It's gonna cost you under $5 to make, and the outcome is stinking cute. I think that this is such a fun piece to display. It's, it really is just a fun way in general to display your tissue other than having a tissue box out. And I tell you, at Christmas time, I got asked a lot about my red truck tissue dispenser. How fun is this piece? Now I tell you, if the Dollar Tree keeps coming out with these red trucks for each holiday, I'm gonna be in red truck heaven. I can't imagine that they would be able to come out with one for St. Patrick's Day or for Easter. And so that is why I picked up several of these because I have so many DIYs in mind for them. And I definitely do wanna make a red truck tissue holder, one that I can keep out year round that's gonna suit and fit in with my decor that doesn't look like it's a Christmas piece that I left out all year. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please make sure to give this quick and easy DIY a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.